This right here is a General Electric 8201-401 ionization smoke alarm. These were manufactured in Ireland in the 70s and 80s and sold in the United States. This one in particular is, was probably installed in the home for about 35 years until one day I came in and assisted the homeowner in replacing it with a newer, more reliable smoke alarm. So now that I have this one in my collection, I'm going to go ahead and show you it today and test it out to see if it still works. So here's the front of it. As you can see, it's just one red test button. And then here's the back of it. It's the version that does not have any printings on the back. And then to open it up, we just pull on this tab right here. And the front opens up. As you can see, the design is fairly simple. We just have a battery, an ionization chamber, a test button, and a horn. And then there's also some written tags on the sides here. Here's the first one. There's the second one. And here's the third one. If you want to read those, you can pause the video and go back and read them. We'll go ahead and give the alarm a test here. The sound it makes is pretty unique. So to test it, you just push the red test button. Yeah, that's definitely a pretty unique sound for a smoke alarm. For this experiment, I have some pine needles and cardboard in hopes of making some ionization smoke. And I have the smoke alarm, which we'll go ahead and test here to make sure that the battery's still working, which it is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light this and then hold the alarm above the smoke and hopefully it will go off. If you're a subscriber, you've probably heard me say this before, but please don't use fire to test smoke alarms. That's not a good idea, especially if they're inside. This is an experiment and this is in safe conditions in a controlled environment. And uh, yeah, just don't play with fire. It's not a good idea. All right, as you can see, I have some smoke here and we'll go ahead and hold the smoke alarm and see if it goes off. That was fast. We'll try that again here. That was really fast. That was really fast, wow. That is honestly almost an instant reaction. Wow, that is honestly still a very sensitive alarm. <laughs> it gives me a headache. So whenever I see it or smell it, I make this noise to warn you. So this smoke alarm is definitely still very sensitive. That actually went off really fast. NFPA and smoke alarm manufacturers recommend you replace your smoke alarms about every 10 years because they may begin to lose their sensitivity. In the past, I have done a little bit of testing to see if older smoke alarms actually do lose their sensitivity. And what I've found is a lot of old smoke alarms still work fine. Whether this is actually true or they're just saying this so that you continue to buy their products every 10 years is beyond me. What I do know is a fire emergency is not something you want to mess around with. If a fire emergency did happen in your home at 2 in the morning, you're definitely going to want to have the latest and greatest technology to help warn you that there's a fire. I'm not saying that you should keep these older smoke alarms installed in your house and that you should trust them, but this one did seem to work pretty fast and pretty well. So that's my video today. Thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day, everyone.